everyone welcome to my channel my name is amber kelly and i am in my mom clothes so that's why you see a windy shirt but the life of a mother so today i will be telling you how i am going to go from using this to hold my patterns that i printed off which are right here and I'm just going to transfer them into a smaller binder. Um, I got this from Walmart. It was like $3 and some change. So it'll be very quick. So if you would like to watch that video, go ahead and give this video a big old thumbs up. Go ahead and comment down below. Do you print patterns or do you not print patterns? Or do you do the digital patterns? Or what type of patterns do you do? Are you a visual like you need to see a video or are you a paper pattern lady or man so again just thumbs up comment down below and let's get started okay so like i said this i will use this now to put the patterns in like i said got it from walmart this is who it is by it is the pink light design collection or oh, Chloe collection, the pink chandelier. Um, yeah, I got this at Walmart. And y'all know I love purple, but when I was at Walmart, I was in a super rush. So I'm going to downgrade from this huge one and put them in here. And I'm going to talk about where I got the patterns from, how I would like to separate them so let me go to the patterns okay so these are all of the patterns that I printed out okay and I had the divider to separate them now this is something different that I'm no longer using. So this doesn't really matter. Um, I probably will take those dividers out because I would actually like to separate these patterns from level one, level two, level three type patterns. So these are like I said, if you see these big sticky notes, that means this is a level one for a beginner. So this is the Lion Brand. And like I said, all you have to do is go to lionbrand.com. And they have plenty of free, plenty of free patterns. So I get my patterns from Lion Brand. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to take the sticky notes off. I actually will take the sticky notes off because, like I said, I do want to separate these with you with using the um, divider thingamajig. I do want to separate it by that. So and brand as well so again this is lion brand and like i said with the with the written patterns they give you the size the gauge loom they recommend and any notes right here and sometimes sometimes these patterns have videos to go with them so it's just basically pretty much what you find and i also go on kb website and find patterns as well now i am more of a of a video lady now that's not to say that i won't learn how to read them because when i'm looking at the videos i'm doing the same thing that they're telling me i just have to some people have to physically see it and some people can just read it so that is cute and then here's a 
Snow Kisses Shaw, a uh, Snow Kisses Shaw, all in one loom. So it lets you know what looms you might want to have. It do it does give you that option. Um, there is a pattern for a keyhole scarf, a rib, a ridged rib shawl, and also another thing, they give you the abbreviation, so if you're not sure about when they start doing this, because it's not in full words, you can just look over here at your abbreviations and apply those. So this is KB here as well. And I just use pocket protect uh, sheet protectors. You can get those from Dollar Tree. And boot cuffs over here, boot toppers. And if you want the exact same effect of what's in the picture, then you're gonna have to get the exact same yarn that they have, you know, at least the um at least the number it does not have to be the same color but if they're using a size five then you need to use a size five as well okay And I printed these at the library, so everything came in black and white. So I have two of those. And then I would just go on random websites as well. So this is a KB Loom. These are those pencil socks. So it shows you how to do the pencil socks. So if you know what a pencil looks like, then you know that a pencil sock so this is another lion brand yarn a uh, lion brand pattern this is a level three and again like I say you just go to lion brand so another lion brand Lion brand number three intermediate. Number three intermediate. And then this, I forgot what website I got this off of, but it did not have a picture. So the ones that don't have a picture, I would put them back here. Yeah, and like I said, normally I tr I like to get um, pictures of what I'm making and tips for pricing handmade goods. So if you go to craftsy.com, um, I printed out this. That way you won't shortchange yourself if you do want to sell your items. So I'm just going to take these off because I can always go back and look them up, but I'm going to show you the patterns. So this is a pattern right here for a cow. That is another one. This is a That is for a whole blanket, baby throw. That is for a cow. Um, Loom Knit Sporty Wristlers. Again, a three intermediate. A collared wrap, a Loom Knit collared wrap. And that is a Boston, Boston, Boston scarf and hat set. 
double knit rib double knit rib scarf and that was that again you have another scarf over here you have a cozy loom afghan wrap and then this was another that didn't have a picture and then again lion brand it shows you the different types of yarn that they used yeah Oh, that's not right. Now we're into KB. Alright, so that is it, and I'll show you, she is not thick at all, so I still have room to add more patterns, and like I said, that is the only thing that's sticking out, so when I put this on my um, shelf with my looming stuff, then I know that this is for patterns, and I will put a label right here that says loom knit patterns on here as well so if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and as always i will see you all next time bye